Intel has a plan to save $10 billion in costs. That's a lot of money that they're saving. But it's going to hurt. Okay, who's it going to hurt? A lot of people, mostly people that work for Intel because they're planning on laying off 15% of their workforce. That is not good. That is not good no. to be an employee of Intel. At the moment. Not at all. Because that's going to end up being roughly 15,000 workers, if not more, because it could be um, up to 19,000 people. You know, it's so crazy that, you know, these layoffs still are happening in tech, which is mm -hmm. just wild to me. I mean, it makes sense because it's not everybody doing very well in tech. You know, like some people, like the stars, NVIDIA, mm -hmm. are doing amazingly well. That is true. But <laughs> then now it's like, well, how about the other players? Because uh, Intel is having trouble in terms of like their chipsets not being as um, powerful as like some of their competitors, especially in the AI space. Okay, I can believe that because NVIDIA really does have a hold on a lot of people. Yes. Because if I think um, some companies are having trouble hiring people in the AI space because they will only go to companies that have enough like uh, resources, to, resources, but yeah. specifically NVIDIA GPUs mm -hmm. to work there because otherwise they won't be able to run their AI programs. That is true. So this all is coming down because apparently the company reported a loss of $1.6 billion dollars. That's a lot of money. That's actually quite a bit of money that they're losing. In Q2 alone. I, <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, that's a lot. Uh, that is so much money. That's more than some companies. That's most than that's more money than most companies make. make yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, oh, geez, that's mm -hmm. significant, which means that, I mean, th I mean, they're still making a lot, but still, that's that's a crazy amount. And we have some additional things to talk about, but First, consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button. We come up with interesting topics like this one all the time. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to join us on this journey. So, yeah, if you go and say like, oh, we lose $1.6 billion. The crazy thing is that like, you know, they're automatically going to go reduce the number of workers. So they're calling them the workers that lot they're losing mm -hmm. non-essential work. And I'm like... What does that even mean, you know? That is weird. That is a weird term, actually, to think about. It, it reminds me of, like, the previous years where it's, like, mm -hmm. essential workers. Yeah, because it's, like, if you think about it, it's, like, why would you even have, like, like I never hear... Lit? Yeah, because, like, if you think about the idea of these layoffs, like, oh, we're, there's non-essential work happening. It's, like, wait, why were you, ha like, hiring $10 billion, like, of people... Mm -hmm that are not needed, you know? Like, why are you hiring in the first place? You know? I, I think that, you know, sometimes companies do hire. Uh, just to hire? Just uh, just to take talent from other people, so other people uh, wouldn't, wouldn't. There's a lot of talent. Yeah, so some people wouldn't have it, um, so they could have the talent. Um, but yeah, that is a, quite a bit of people, and that's quite a, be uh, that's quite a reduction mm -hmm. that they're doing. That's a huge miss. Mm -hmm. Especially anytime it has a B in it, I was like, that is, yeah, that is a crazy amount. A large amount of money lost. So apparently it's kind of tied to their diversifying into um, their chip making foundry business. And they're trying to invest more money into um, this new business, but like they are incurring a lot of cost from this new business, which like um, is new factories and a new type of um, like method to make the chips, mm. which is extreme ultraviolet lithography. I think that most companies are trying to um, trying to catch up mm -hmm. uh, within their chipset. I think a lot of companies are like that's their main focus on being able to build like the infrastructure for AI and being able mm -hmm. to go through and. Uh, essentially start building out the future. And Intel, I think, is trying to do that. But at the same time, they're losing quite a bit of money um, yeah. from their workflow and process, uh, from their, what is it, I guess, from these employees' uh, costs, along with them trying to keep up. It's just so, it's just so crazy that, like, this is still happening. But it makes mm -hmm. sense because, like I mentioned, they're just trying, they're trying to keep up. That's true. Because I think a lot of times it's because they're using, um, they're trying to reduce the reliance on other chip manufacturers. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, they're incurring a bunch of losses. But it's also, on the other hand, 
the chip manufacturer has to um, make different like processes to be able to create these new chips. So they can't just move on a dime to make a new uh, product line for Intel. So now they're seemingly taking more of this production in-house. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy to think about too. I think that I think a lot of companies are gonna end up going that way, trying to make their own stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I do wonder. Uh, I do wonder, like, when was the last time Intel was really in the news for something, something big? Because I feel like most, of, like most of the spotlight is being taken up from a few companies. Um, and only the only time we ever hear about companies like this is like when something bad is happening. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like Intel, I think in, even AMD as well, like, is having issues with keeping up with, um, with NVIDIA. But also, the other thing is that um, they're both now having to fight Qualcomm. Oh, yeah. Because now Qualcomm is making um, processors as well. And I mean, not that they're really competing in the same space, but there's also like Mac or Apple that oh, also okay. has their um, processor as well. Yeah, because uh, if, it, like, thinking about it, if you were, like, a giant tech company like Apple, you don't want to be paying other people to be making this stuff for you. You don't want to mm. bring it in-house so you can make it cheaper. Um, and then you don't you have less of a reliance on them. So if there's ever a shortage or anything like that that happens, uh, which is crazy, it's, it's typically how things go. Um, when you end up making it yourself, you're able to... Um, get thing you get it at a cheaper cost. Mm -hmm. So I finally figured it out. It was it was TM TSMC. Oh, the Taiwan Semiconductor. Yeah. So they the thing the whole thing is that they wanted to take away some of that because um, the whole thing is that additionally, Intel is behind in terms of like the scale or the the size of their chips mm -hmm. because like the smaller you have, uh, the smaller chip size, the more you can put more processing power you can put on a chip. And they're pretty far behind in terms of like the size of their chip. So they were trying to a while ago, they were trying to increase their production of or of these new smaller chips, but they couldn't like convince mm -hmm. TSMC to like add more um, spots on the production line. Yeah, because they're maxed out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, TSMC is totally maxed out on the capacity that they're able to produce because every Every time, every single um, inch of time that they have is being utilized, which is crazy to think about. Yeah. So, I mean, this has all been like pretty wild. So, I I do feel really bad for anybody who's working at Intel because the thing is that I mean they're trying their best to like improve and and continue to innovate and stuff, but the issue is that Intel has been dominant for years. Yeah. They earlier. Been, yeah. And then they just kind of like were stagnant in terms of like growth. There's still but, a lot of money that they make. Yeah. Yeah, but the other thing is that Nvidia doesn't care, and they're just no, no. like producing the newest, like fastest, like GPUs all the time. So it's like yeah. it's kind of hard to play catch up at it's, this point. It's a dog eat dog world, and Nvidia is on top. All the other companies, all the other uh, tech markets are are down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, so let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think this is going to be just the tip of the iceberg? Do you think they're going to lay off more people? Or do you think that they'll this will actually you know, be a good thing for them and they are going to be able to reinvest and turn the ship around? But I, I don't know if this is good signaling because it's like the way that's worded is kind of wild when you say non-essential work, and which is inferring that you were doing not a bunch of work, work. Yeah, it, it looks to begin terrible. with. And it's like, oh, you were just spending money willy nilly on random stuff. Like, yeah, it, it, you're not it's, focused. That's why you're you're down. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird wording to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below.